Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Saturday, March the 7th. Uh, let's see, it's 5.40 p.m. And I wanted to share a couple of messages from the Lord that I got in Dawn's email. The email I get from Dawn. Okay, one is, uh, well, it's called Holy Fire stand and overcome Friday March 6th okay it's from uh, given to glory to God ministries international and I'm not sure if that's this ministry or not I can't remember the name of them they're they're based in Hong Kong okay let me go on those who are suffering for my sake will never lack for I will stand with them in their time of need in their time of trouble saith the Lord my glory will be set upon them and I will be with them yes the times are at hand and they will get worse than what you see but be not dismayed for I will show forth my glory and that's all they got but this second one kind of ties in with it it's part one of two so maybe tomorrow I'll get part two this was given on March the 3rd of 2020 it's been quite some time since the Lord has prevailed on my heart to share but it is now time he has made that clear to me. He has something to say about the coronavirus. Quote, Write and speak what I have to say to the nations. You are missing the point with the coronavirus. You are missing it. It is I who allow these things to come upon my earth, my creation. I allow it for my purposes. My purposes are these. I desire to call you to myself. You, my children, are not meant to go it alone. I am here patiently waiting for you to come to me. I say, all who are weary, come to me, and I will give you rest. Stop relying on self, and start relying on me, your creator, and the lover of your soul. The coronavirus is a broken, twisted, man-made virus, not of me. It represents all that is wrong with this world under Satan, under fallen man. The coronavirus is not of my kingdom. It is of the kingdom which is falling. I say to you today, for those with ears to hear, this world under Satan is under notice. Your days are limited. Your end is near. You got that, Satan? My kingdom is coming in its fullness, and it will not be stopped. Even today it has come in those who have made themselves ready by submitting to me I have prepared them I have made them ready the coronavirus cannot live in my kingdom you must come out of the kingdom of this world and enter into my kingdom to taste my goodness and my mercy do this now it is not hard my burden is light and I desire to carry your heavy burden 
as my son dealt with it nearly 2,000 years ago on the cross. He paid your price, the bounty on your head, in full. Come, be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Today, your broken world feels fear, but fear is not of me. Rebuke the fear that is a lie. Though 10,000 may fall at your right hand, you will be safe under the shadow of the Almighty. And that was received by Rachel Baxter. If anybody knows if she has a channel or a blog, I would appreciate it. But I've read through this a few times, prayed on it, and... I just got done praying again, and I feel like I'm led to share it. Um, well, we know this is man-made, twisted. It's probably just like the mycoplasma fermentans. They took two or more viruses. They probably took the coronavirus, HIV. They're said to be, I can't remember the other one. But I saw it in a video, and they s combined them somehow. That's why people get well, go home, and come back and have it again. That's how HIV does. You get it, you're sick a while, and then you, you relapse when you go back to work. That's what happened to me. The illness I got, they created, but it's not killing people enough. So they had to come up with something better. Anyway... That, um, I'm reading the next one to see if I was supposed to share that one. Okay, I'll share this one. It's dated March 7th, 2020. In your wildest imagination, you could not have imagined what happened. You've prayed, and I answered. The answer was not what you expected. So this is clearly not for everybody, but it'll be for somebody. Do you remember... The double portion? Yes, double portion. All is good, even though there are some hard happenings. You are overwhelmingly surprised, but gather your thoughts about this. New choices will have to be made. All is on target. Continue speaking to the heavenly hosts. The battle continues in the heavenlies. Keep on praying. And the scripture she uses with it is Ephesians 6.12. For we are not fighting. This is the New Living Translation, NLT. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Bev Robinson. Okay. I'll end it there. Um... I'll plead the blood of Jesus over these messages that are from from the Lord. I believe, if as with any message from the Lord or dream or vision, take it to the Lord if you don't believe it, or just keep it in the back of your memory and see if you get confirmation in another form, okay? Um, so I plead the blood of Jesus over these messages. 
over this video, my computer, myself, and my internet connection. I also plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and all your families and your devices and your internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. Okay, I was wanting to show you the sky. Let's see if I can get it in here. Let's unplug it. Can you see it? Our windows are dirty. I wanted him to get a professional window washer, but of course that was out of the question. <laughs> yeah. I need a new thermostat. Pray that I get a new thermostat, y'all. I got up in the middle of the night. It was sitting on 90 and still running. The heat was. I thought I'd never get cooled off. <laughs> anyway, um... I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.